Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Rob Michael and you are here for a very, very special mini series from Bournemouth and Elm Street United Synagogue called, well, let's call it Matzah Memories. Why? Well, because on Pesach, we have foods which evoke our memory. We have the maror, the bitter herbs, to invoke and invoke in our minds the time when we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. We have the chavoset to remember the cement. We have matzah, we have so many foods, but also it extends into our living because I don't know about you, but certainly me, there's certain dishes I only ever make on Pesach. And actually, if I'm honest, I really, really look forward to Pesach because of the food. Yes, we can't have bread. Yes, we can't have pasta. But do you know what? We can have matzah pudding. We can have plava or plava, depending on what you like to, how you like to pronounce it. We can have bubblers. We can have matzah brai. There's so many dishes that I make just on Pesach that I want to share with you a few of my favourites. Today, we are going to be doing matzo pudding. I love matzo pudding. This recipe is a version from my grandma. Everybody in my family loves matzo pudding and all the grandchildren have tried to create their own version of matzo pudding um, to live up to the amazing one that my grandma used to make. This gives us the opportunity to speak about matzo because what is matzo? Well, that's actually a really good question because matzah is a food with an identity crisis. On the one hand, matzah is called lechem oni. It is the bread of our affliction. It is the bread that we ate when we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. Uh, it was the bread that sustained us during those years of hardship. On the other hand, it is the bread of freedom. It is the bread that we have because there, there was not enough time for the loaves to rise as we were trying to rush out of Egypt. So what is it? Is it a bread of affliction or is it a bread of freedom? Perhaps it is both. And actually, if you think about it, matzah, what changes between matzah and chametz? A moment in time. Up until 18 minutes, matzah is considered matzah. Anything longer than that and it suddenly becomes chametz. Matzah is the bread of transition. It is that moment in which we change from being slaves to free people. And so we can eat this matzah to focus us on that moment of transformation, that moment of change. It is brilliant. Yes, it sometimes tastes like cardboard, but trust me, if you make my matzah pudding, you're gonna fall in love with matzah. So let me show you my matzah pudding. What you need to do is get a large bowl. And in this bowl, you need to take nine rakuzas, actually, sorry, 10 rakuzas matzahs. If you're using larger matzahs, uh, then you need to use slightly less matzah, obviously. So 10 rakuzas matzah. You wanna soak it in water for about five minutes. Once you've soaked it in water, drain it out, and you're gonna end up with this, which is matzah mush. I love matzah mush and now we're ready to make this into our matzah pudding. For those of you who are just uh, looking, thinking where it's in my kitchen is, how can you already be doing Pesach stuff? Well, I've cushioned uh, one of my ovens already and I've got here is my Pesach sideboard um, and these are all my Pesach utensils um, that, uh, that I'm going to be able to use uh, for my Pesach cooking. So I've got my matzah, which has been soaked in water and, and squeezed out all the water and it is ready there. Into that, I want to add one large um, cooking apple. And you want to just dice this cooking apple quite uh, roughly, but you want it to be into nice little bits of dicing. I know I've just made that as a contradiction, but just dice up your chopped apple and literally throw it into the bowl. This is a very, very simple recipe. Um, this is a recipe that my family, as I said, have every year on Seder night. Um, it's a recipe that I actually look forward to and there are some friends of mine who know that I'm famous for sometimes serving this also on Shavuot. Why? Well, because I make so much on Pesach that sometimes I have leftovers for Shavuot and do you know what? I love matzo pudding. You can't beat a good matzo pudding. Matzo pudding, you know, it's amazing for, for dessert but it's also a really, really, really yummy breakfast if you warm it up as well. So. I've got my one shot um, baking apple. Quite a nice large one I'm using. I love apple, hence why I'm using that. I'm also gonna put in one uh, eating apple as well. Uh, I find this just adds a little bit more texture because this is less likely to break apart in the dish. Again, just roughly uh, dice it up and throw it in with the matzo. This dish, I should add, is really, really, really easy to scale up. I often make two or three uh, uh, times the amount that I'm showing you today, 
and I just portion it up between the different dishes before I cook it. Uh, to get ready, you should also preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius. So I've got my apple in with my uh, matzo. Into here, now you want to add half a cup of raisins. There is another way, by the way, to make this, which is um, where you don't put the apple and you don't put raisins, you just put chocolate chips in. Try it, it's absolutely incredible. I personally love raisins, so even though I said half a cup, I'm actually putting a full cup in um, to this as well. You want to add three quarters of a cup of uh, sugar, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, and two uh, teaspoons of cinnamon. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Again, I love cinnamon, so I'm actually going to be personally putting in a tablespoon of cinnamon. So you've got your cinnamon, you've got your sugar, you've got your apple, you've got your uh, raisins. It is so easy. The final ingredient is three eggs, which I've cracked already and I checked individually before I put them into this glass. And finally, a splash of vanilla essence. The hardest part of this dish is what is about to happen now, where well, you need to mash all of that together. You want to break up the matzah, you want to mix in the egg. To be honest, sometimes I find it's easier just to wash your hands and get your hands in and just mix it all together with your hands. You want the egg, to be mixed really well in. You want the sugar all over the matzo, you want the cinnamon everywhere as well, you want the apple well mixed in, you want the raisins mixed in. If you find it is too wet, add some more matzo in. If you find it is too dry, add another uh, egg in. And look, how easy was that? That is it. That is all you need to do to make this most incredible matzo pudding. Right, so get a silver foil dish. I think this might be enough for one nine by nine, but I've got some smaller ones in case. Spray your dish, because you want it to come out quite easily. And simply pour your matzo pudding mix, should be now really well mixed, into the dish. I like to flatter the top. Some people like it to be um, uh, crispy on top, but I like to do a flat top, and you'll see why in a second. So just flatten it all down. It looks disgusting. It smells amazing. And it will taste incredible. The final thing I like to do is get vanilla sugar. Why? Well, because vanilla sugar just seems to be Pesach. I don't know how on earth this happened, but vanilla sugar at some point in time became associated with Pesach. And so I like to have a tub of it um, for Pesach. And I like to just sprinkle a little bit of vanilla sugar all over the top. Gonna add a little bit of vanilla into that flavor, a bit more on the top. And that's it. Let me show it to you. This is it. This is how easy it was. Now this is gonna go into the oven for 45 minutes on 170 degrees Celsius. It's a fan oven. And I will show you the finished products. I'm not going to be able to obviously eat this yet because it's not Pesach, uh, but I'll show you the final product once it is done. So here it is, my matzo pudding. It's been in the oven for about 50 minutes in total. It looks amazing. It smells great. I can't wait to have this on Pesach. I hope you give this a go. Let me know how you get on. Have a great one.